Dave Aranda is on the hot seat after a disappointing 2023. Can Baylor turn it around in 2024? We're going to go through game-by-game -game predictions here, but first, just some thoughts on this Baylor team. Uh, I love the transfer to Quan Finn at quarterback. I think he is, is really going to do well in this Baylor offense, and he's got a lot of weapons around him. Running back room, wide receiver group is, is very good. But the problem for Baylor on offense is going to be the offensive line. I think that's an area where they could struggle. And on the flip side, defensive line, I think, is an area where they could struggle. So at the line of scrimmage, we know how important that is in football. I think Baylor uh, is not going to be great. I think the rest of the defense will be decent. But, um, again, it all starts there at the line of scrimmage on both sides of the ball. This team was just 3-9 and nine last year. And when you look at this 2024 schedule, it's tough to find wins. It is tough to find uh, especially six wins and getting to a bowl game. Uh, it's a team that I think will be improved, but again, with the schedule, uh, I don't know how many more wins they're going to get. Vegas is, you know, actually not too low on Baylor. They've got their over under at five and a half. Uh, to me, that seems like a fair number. If anything, maybe a little bit high. They'll start with Tarleton State. So we do expect to win there. So a one and zero start for the Baylor Bears, but then they'll play Utah on the road in what is actually a non conference game. Uh, even though both teams are in the Big 12, the game was scheduled before, and we've talked about all that. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be a tough matchup. Utah is going to be really, really good. I think they're going to be a lot better than they were last year uh, with Cam Rising back at quarterback. Just a tough matchup for, for Baylor. I don't see them winning, so I have them dropping to 1-1. One and one. And then you've got Air Force. This is not a gimme game. This is a, a very solid team, and it's tough to prepare for that triple option. So this is not an easy win for Baylor. I do think they have enough to get this win but don't be shocked if air force actually pulls off an upset here i'm gonna pick baylor uh then the next week they'll play colorado uh and this is these are two similar teams i think colorado maybe has uh, a little bit a few more playmakers especially on the defensive side and i like colorado's defensive line i think that'll be uh an advantage for them in this game the game is also on the road at colorado so I've got to go Buffaloes here going with a loss for Baylor. They dropped it two and two. They play BYU next. Uh, and this is a fairly even matchup. I think Baylor's probably a little bit ahead, especially with what they've got at the skill positions. And so I think Baylor playing at home, they get the win here over BYU in a close one. Next game is at Iowa State. Uh, this one will be on the road against a talented, experienced team, a tough place to play. Uh, just look at this schedule. Iowa State, Texas Tech on the road. Then you got Oklahoma State, TCU. At West Virginia, at Houston, this is a brutal stretch. I don't see them beating Iowa State. Uh, Texas Tech, I think, is more talented than Baylor. Plus, this game is on the road. I think that's a loss. Then you've got Oklahoma State at home. Uh, Oklahoma State's going to be really good. We know that. We know that this team has a ton of experience coming back. Uh, it's a team that went to the Big 12 Championship last year. Can Baylor pull off a shocker? I'm going to say no going Oklahoma State. And then TCU, I think TCU is a much more talented team than Baylor as well. So, I got to go TCU, and now you can see how the wins, it, it's tough to find the wins. West Virginia is next on the road. A good, a good defense, good at the line of scrimmage. That's going to definitely be an advantage for West Virginia. Plus, they're playing at home. Got to go Mountaineers. So, no bowl game for Baylor. They play Houston the next week on the road. A, a chance to maybe win this one, but I think Houston's a better team. I really do. Plus, again, the game is on the road. I've got to go Houston here, and then they'll close things out with Kansas. Um, I just, it's the way the Big 12 goes. We see some crazy games. We see upsets. I, I picked Baylor to win here. I don't really have a great reason for it. I just think they'll pull off a win somewhere. Maybe it's it's Houston before that. Maybe it's TCU at home. I think they'll, they'll win one of these games, but uh, it's going to be very, very tough, in my opinion, for them to get to a bowl game. I've got them at four and eight, a one game improvement from last year. Um, could you get to five and seven? Maybe. Uh, but even that, I think it's going to be tough, and I just do not see this team getting to 6-6. Six and six. So those are my predictions for Baylor. Give me your predictions down in the comments below.